Hi everyone, bonsoir, this is Shariq and welcome back to another lesson with Globeshot with Arabic. This is a Lebanese Arabic lesson to my Lebanese Arabic students and today we will have a small conversation in Lebanese Arabic and it's a very important conversation because it's related to Lebanese culture. Before I begin, let me ask you to subscribe to my channel if you find my lessons useful. Also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram because I upload lessons there as well almost on a daily basis. And guess what? Today is day 10 in our 30-day challenge. I have been uploading one lesson every single day for a period of 30 days. So it's a challenge for me. So let me invite you guys to challenge yourselves as much as you can to study every day and to follow these lessons. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. I will turn my camera and share my screen with you. See you in a bit. All right, guys, so this is a conversation between two people, but I will pretend that I am those two people because obviously I'm sitting alone and there's no one to read with me, okay? But I'm not going to read it slowly. I will read it with natural speed because I would like you guys to have a feel of how we really actually speak things when we're speaking Arabic without slowing things down. So let's read it twice with natural speed. And then, of course, we can break things down and we can go really slow. Okay, let's begin. So, طالعين على الجبل اليوم؟ لا والله بقين ببيروت. ليه ولو؟ عملين غدا وعزمين كل الجيران. يلا طلعوا. لا خلاص ما عليه or ما عليش. غير مرة بتسيب. اليوم نحنا نازلين على البحر وما فينا نطلع. وانتو؟ بقين فوق ايه بكرة نزلين Let's read it one more time this time following the Arabic script if you want you can still follow the Latin script here Let's begin طالعين على الجبل اليوم لا والله بقين ببيروت ليه ولو عملين غدا وعزمين كل الجيران يلا طلعوا لا خلص معليش غير مرة بتسائب اليوم نحنا نازلين على البحر وما فينا نطلع وانتو بقين فوق ايه بكرة نازلين يلا let's break it down with bigger font this time okay so when I say طالعين على الجبل طالعين على الجبل اليوم means are you in the plural i'm talking to a group of people and i'm saying are you going up to the mountains today Talin, are you going up that's in the plural al means literally it means on the of course here it doesn't mean on the it means to the are you going to the mountain today let's break it down Tale, tale. In Arabic, I translated it as you're going up. But it literally means goer up. It means the person who goes up. And this is what we call a participle. In Arabic, we use participles, which means the person who does the action. In this case, the person who goes up or the goer up. We use sometimes the participle as an adjective and other times we use it like in this case to refer to something that plays the role of a present continuous or sometimes to refer to the near future in this case it's the near future because the person is asking are you going to the mountain today it's something that they want to know if you're doing it sometime soon in the next few hours maybe or something okay so when I say talin, I'm asking a group of people if they're going up. But if I say talir, I'm asking one person if they are going up. So talin literally means goers up or the people who go up. Now, al jabal, jabal means mountain. Al jabal literally on the mountain but of course here it means to the mountain it doesn't mean on the mountain but if i break al down it's ala plus l which means to the 
mountain. But I could have said here طالعين على الجبل اليوم today. But what I did is I abbreviated the على and I just use ع. which is perfectly fine. So I said طالعين على الجبل اليوم so I joined them together and of course I make a liaison always. Now, you would think that okay, this person is asking other people if they're going up to the mountain maybe for skiing or something like that. But that's not the case and this is really related to Lebanese culture. Why? First of all, we use a lot طالعين which is going up And we also use a lot nazlin, okay? Where is nazlin? Let me find it. Yeah, we use a lot nazlin, which means uh, goers down. Why do we use a lot of talain and nazlin in Lebanon? Because it's a, it's a mountainous country, and people naturally drive up and down on a daily basis many times. So, for example, if I am in Beirut and I am going home, like in my case, because I live in a small village called Ernat Ern al-Hamra, and it's based in the mountain, not really up very high in the mountain, I would say halfway through the mountains. If I'm with my friends in Beirut, for example, I would say, Yalla, ana tal'a al bayt. I'm going up home. Okay? I always use tal'a, tal'a, tal'in. We always use this due to the mountainous nature of the country. Now, when I said Hajjabal, maybe we don't really mean on the mountain, really like like going up to the mountain and climbing as well. But it's also because people usually um, spend the summer in in the mountains where usually the villages are. So in Lebanon, basically villages are usually in the mountains, and in the city we don't have villages. We have more like towns and. And villages are in the mountains. So when I say I'm going to the mountains, for example, in this case, tal'a. In my case, I use tal'a because it's feminine. So tal'a is masculine. If I want to make it feminine, I say tal'a. And if I want to make it plural, I say tal'in. Okay. So if in my case I say tal'a al-jabal, I mean I'm going maybe to my summer house or. Uh, Sometimes we go uh, we we go to the mountains for skiing as well, of course. But mainly we go live in the mountains in the summer. So tala al jabal. Usually people also have two houses if they can afford it. Of course, they would have a summer house and they would have another home to live in uh, in the in the city in in winter usually. Okay. So when I say talain al jabal, it would mean are more like are you going to the village? Okay. So, talain al jabal al-yom. Are you going up to the mountains today? And remember, the you is the plural. And then the person replies and says, "La walla, la walla, bein bi Beirut." Okay. Now, this person could have just said "la" without "la walla," and "la" means no. But when I say "walla," It kind of means like I'm saying not really, you know, no. Like this prolonged no that you can say sometimes in English. You just say no, or you just go like um, no. That's how we say it in Arabic. Like la walla, not really. Okay, it's like the person is thinking and saying no at the same time. La walla, bein bi Beirut. Again, you see this in. It's the plural form. Now let's see what is this. It's be. Be is the masculine form of I am staying. Be with the y here. Be is the feminine form of I am staying, and be is the plural form of I am staying. Again, what did we do? Be here. Literally means the stayer, the person who stays. Be it also means the stayer, the person who stays in the feminine form, and bein again it means the stayers. But of course, again in this context, I didn't mean to say the stayers, but I meant to say we are staying in the plural. La walla no no not really. La walla bein bein in this context means we are staying. 
بقين ببيروت B means in and Beirut means Beirut, the city. So, لا ولا بقين ببيروت. Not really, not really. We're staying in Beirut. Okay, so طالعين على الجبل اليوم. Are you going up to the mountains today? لا ولا بقين ببيروت. Not really. We're staying in Beirut. ليه ولو عاملين غدا وعازمين كل الجيران. يلا طلعوا. Let me repeat this. لي ولو لي means why. ولو has no meaning. It's just a sound. I think in English you call it onomatopoeic sound or something like that. Which means you make a sound that doesn't have a meaning but you express something with it. And when you say ولو in Arabic it's like you're expressing like oh no. Or you're saying in this context oh no. Or sometimes you say ولو to express that you're really annoyed of something. Uh, so when I say le ولو, it's like oh no, why? I'm saying to the person oh why? Okay. So le ولو, of course I can just say le why. But when I say le ولو, it's like I'm showing the person that why I really want you to come. Okay. Le ولو, عملين. Okay. There is another participle here if you notice. عملين. We are doing غدا, lunch. We don't really mean we are doing lunch. It's like we're throwing a lunch or something. So when I say عملين غدا, it really has this connotation that we are doing a lunch and there are people who are invited basically. Okay? So if you take عملين, you know that the in here makes it plural. عملين. Now, the masculine form, the singular masculine form of عملين is just عمل. That's masculine. عمل. And in the feminine form, it's عمله. عملين literally means doers. عمل means doer in the masculine form. And عمله means doer in the feminine form. And of course, in this context, I really me don't mean doers or doer. I mean doing. What are you doing? Or something like that. So here, when the, when the person said عملين غدا, they meant we are doing a lunch or we are throwing a lunch. Okay? We're having lunch basically tomorrow. So عملين غدا وعزمين. عزمين Again, the plural form of inviters, people who invite. عزم, person who invites in the masculine form. And عزم, person who invites in the feminine form. But again, here I don't mean the inviter or the, the person who invites or the inviters, no. I mean we are inviting. Again, it's in the near future. So we are having lunch. It's in the future. And we are inviting people. Okay? So عملين غدا. We're having lunch. And we're inviting. وعزمين كل الجيران. كل الجيران. كل means all. ال means the. And جيران means neighbors. عزمين كل الجيران. We're inviting all the neighbors. Now, when I say عزمين كل الجيران, it's also part of Lebanese culture because usually neighbors in Lebanon are really close to each other, sometimes even more than family. So, um, for example, maybe I was lucky enough to grow up in a village as well. And um, so most of the times, like if I'm even walking in the street and the neighbors are sitting on the balcony, the first thing they would say, Tfaddale, when they see me walk in the street, Tfaddale means come on in or Tfaddalo if there's more than one person. So there's always these invitations, most of the time spontaneous and many times even not spontaneous in an arranged way. So really people invite each other a lot in our culture and this is something I really like. So, عملين غدا وعزمين كل الجيران. We're having lunch and we're, and we're inviting all the neighbors. يلا طلعوا. يلا means come on. يلا. طلعوا is the imperative form of verb طلع. طلع means go up in the masculine form. طلعي 
means go up in the feminine form. That's also the imperative form. Tla'u is the plural form of go up. Here, it doesn't literally mean go up. Why? Because we can assume from the conversation that the person will already be up. So maybe the person is saying come up. So it depends on where you are. If you're already up, it means come up. If you're not already up, it might mean go up as well. Okay? It depends on the conversation. So when I say yalla tlao, it means come on in the plural. I'm talking to one person. Come on, come up guys. Okay? Come on, come up. And in Arabic, it's like you're saying, um, you're conjugating verb to go up as verb to up. So in the present form, we even have I up, you up, he ups, she ups. Again, of course, this doesn't make sense at all in English, but in Arabic, it does. So the whole sentence would be, Leulo, oh no, why? Aimlin Rada, Waizmin Kilajiran. We're having lunch and we're inviting all the neighbors. Yalla Tlao, come on, come up. La khalas maale or maalesh. La means no. Khalas on its own usually means enough. But in this context, it doesn't mean enough. It's like the person again is thinking about something and saying, uh, you know what? No. It's, it's, that's what it means. You know what? No, I don't want to go. So, la khalas. So, la khalas. Ma'ale. Ma'ale means it's okay. Ma'alesh also means it's okay. They both mean exactly the same thing. There is no difference in the meanings. La khalas ma'alesh. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. Or, uh, you know what? No, that's okay. Ghair marra bitsaib. This is a nice expression you can actually memorize. Ghair marra bitsaib. Ghair means another. Marra means time. Ghair marra means another time. And bitsaib literally means it coincides. It's like you are saying another time it coincides. Which means we will have another chance to do it. It's a way to say, you know what, we can do it another time or we will do it another time. So when somebody invites you and you won't be able to make it, you can say, it's okay, غير مرة بتسيب, we will do it another time, okay? But it literally means another time it coincides. Okay, so لا خلص ما عليه or ما عليش غير مرة بتسيب. We can do it another time. اليوم نحنا نزلين على البحر وما في نا نطلع. اليوم today نحنا we نزلين. Here's another participle that I'm using. نزلين is in the plural form. Literally, the goers down in this case. Okay. As I said, we use a lot of طالعين. We're going up. Nezlin, we're going down. That's in the plural. Nezlin. Nezil, that's masculine. And if I want to make it feminine, I add the e in the end, which is actually the tema arbuta. Nezli. So in that case, I make it feminine. Nezli. Nezil, the goer down, masculine. Nezlin, the goers down. Here in this context, it means Lyom, nahna nezlin. Today we are going down. Al Bahar. We always say Nezlin al Bahar in Arabic. Why? Obviously, because uh, Bahar means uh, sea. Al Bahar means to the sea. Al Bahar. And again, I can break the Al down and it means Ala plus El, which means to the sea. Literally, it also means on the sea, but we mean to the sea. So, today we're going to the beach, but in Lebanon we say we're going down to the beach. Again, obviously, because uh, the beach in Lebanon is not in the mountain, it's down. So, when we're in the mountain, we usually go down to the beach. That's why we always say Nezlin. Even if we're not living in the mountains, by the way, even if let's say we live in Beirut and we're going to the beach, we always say Nezlin al Bahar. Of course, you can say Raihin al Bahar, which means we are going to the beach. Raihin al Bahar. 
but it's very common to use نازلين على البحر اوكي اليوم نحنا نازلين على البحر or اليوم نحنا رايحين على البحر وما فينا نطلع فينا means we can فينا نطلع means we can come up literally you're saying we can up ما فينا نطلع we can't come up so to make a verb negative we have to add ما before it ما فينا نطلع we can't come up وما فينا نطلع and we can't come up because it's the continuation of the sentence so basically the person is saying today we are going to the beach and we can't come up اليوم نحنا نازلين على البحر وما فينا نطلع وانتو باقيين فوق and you plural انتو باقيين فوق باقيين means are you the stayers again which means are you guys staying up باقيين stayers باقي باقي stayer masculine and باقي stayer feminine باقيين باقي باقي which means I'm staying masculine, I'm staying feminine, and I'm stay we are staying plural. So, وانتو بقيين فو... By the way, when it's plural, it can be we, it can be you, it can be they, it doesn't matter, as long as it's plural. It's the same one that we use. وانتو بقيين فو... وانتو بقيين فو... And you, plural, are you staying up? And of course, up means in the mountains or in the village. And the person will reply and say, Eh, bukra nezlin. Eh, yes, bukra, tomorrow, nezlin. And now you know that nezlin is we are coming down tomorrow. Eh, bukra nezlin. Yes, we are coming down or we are going down tomorrow. Okay? Let me repeat the conversation. And here you have the translation. You can read it later on. I will upload it to my Instagram and to my Facebook. You can go there, take a snapshot of the conversation, both in Arabic and in English. Let's read it one more time before you go. طالعين على الجبل اليوم؟ لا ولا بقيين ببيروت. Are you going up to the mountains today? Not really. We're staying in Beirut. ليه ولو؟ عاملين غدا وعزمين كل الجيران يلا اطلعوا Oh no, why? We're doing lunch and we're inviting all the neighbors Come on, come up mm, لا خلص معلي or معليش غير مرة بتسائب No, that's okay Another time it coincides which means we can do it another time اليوم نحنا نزلين على البحر وما فينا نطلع Today, we're going to the beach and we can't come up. وانتو بقيين فوق and you in the plural, you guys. Are you staying up? ايه بكرة نزلين. Yes, we're coming down tomorrow. That's it for today. Let me turn my screen and say bye to you. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something from this lesson. And as I said, if you have questions, leave them in the comment box below. And if you like this lesson, um, subscribe to my channel, maybe press the like button and follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. And I shall see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye.